greetings and welcome to nature's bounties again and again the lord is showing us in wonderful ways that he can help us to live in these difficult times with simple things from nature that will bless us and help us to still survive and even thrive and enjoy life let us ask the lord's blessing again so that at least we know indeed and be comforted that he's with us let's pray our dear Father in heaven, we pray that your Holy Spirit will bless our minds. You will give us understanding, you will help and direct us, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We want to begin something very special. To show some step-by-step -step demonstrations of effective treatments using water to relieve discomforts, to prevent some problems that are generally plaguing us in today's world, like stress, like pain, sore muscles, and all those type of things. And yet be able to have something that we can use very quickly and that is around us in the home. Therefore, we want to look at these items that we can use, simple methods, effective, but don't forget to let the caregiver that is taking care of the person, or if it's yourself, to know what you are doing. Because it's always good to let, whether it's a physician, a nursing person, or a physiotherapist, to know what we are doing, and explain what we are doing, and be sure of what we are doing with their care that they are giving to us. We should not leave our caregivers out of the show, as it were, when we are doing these simple remedies. It's very important that we take them along with us. Yes, the first one we will demonstrate is the hot foot bath. It's one of those simple methods that we can use. It's very effective, it's helpful, it's local, and it has what we call derivative effects. All of these terms may not be that clear to the average person that is needing these remedies to help ailment. But nevertheless, it's good for us to talk about all of these things so that at least we become familiar with it. And you know the interesting thing in today's world that there are so many avenues in which we can get information, resources that can help our knowledge and whatever we want to do. I've met several individuals that have learned many trades by going to do it yourself. And then they found what they needed at certain times. And they are still using those things. Water therapy is very simple. Water therapy is very effective. Nevertheless, we must talk about some few things that we need to understand so that we don't take simple things for granted and then run into troubles. It's an example of a local water treatment, meaning that we apply it to a particular part of the body and then we expect it to have a particular effect and we look to that effect, we must see it. Because if we are not seeing the effect that we want from it, then it may not be doing exactly what we want. So hot food bath is used with other treatment. For instance, if we want to give another treatment like cold treatment, we start with a warm treatment like hot food bath that we are about to show and then that enables the person to be warm enough to take the cold treatment. It can be generally just used to warm a person up. A person is shivering and is feeling very sick, hot food bath can be used very effectively. What are the reasons, the purpose, what we expect to have if we use hot foot bath? We expect that it will give an increased blood flow. Now, this is key factor because in almost all the water treatments that we have that are available now, nature's bounties, we are going to just show a few simple ones that we can use at home. There are more complicated ones, but we'll leave that one, those ones excuse me, to the institutions where they have more 
sophisticated equipment that they use for, for the purposes for which they want to achieve. But for these purposes to enable us to use some simple, basic things that we can easily get from the home. And hot food bath is the primary one level of helping us to begin to uh, appreciate the use of water treatment. Local treatment, it will even relieve congestive headache. It will help chest congestion. What are the things that can be happening for us to have uh, chest congestion? Cold, common cold, other problems with the lungs. Even headache is congestion in the head, but bronchitis, another example of problems in the lung, water treatment can help. Pelvic congestion in the pelvic area of both male and female, often there are congestion that will happen there, especially for the ladies. We often at the time of the month have serious pains going on in our pelvic area because of the monthly period. It could radiate to the thigh. It could be painful even up to the back of the person. If we do hot food bath as an example of hydrotherapy for this purpose, it will help to relieve the congestion. Congestion simply means that blood is pulling in that area. There isn't in and out flow of blood circulation into that area and out of the area. Therefore, there is congestion. Once circulation is improved by a hot food bath, the relief comes. The use of strong pain relievers can be avoided because then we have something that does not leave a side effect, that does not leave substances or chemicals in our bloodstream that will cause other problems for us. Now we prepare the person that would be um, applying the hot treatment to as the demonstration will show very clearly more than I can explain. But this explanation is just to prepare our minds to help us to know that yes, there is great benefit in this and that what we demonstrate, all the things as will list them, will help us to see that there are things that we can find very easily. If we don't have them now at home, we can get them very easily. We can get them from the stores or from the open markets. They are all available out there for us to use for the purpose of using this hot food bath. I would like to mention some very important things, which we call contraindications. Contraindications generally for water treatment generally and particularly for hot food bath is that anyone that has circulatory disturbances, that is, there are problems with circulation um, for whatever reason, maybe um, the nerves, the arteries and so forth are having serious ailments, then we do not use hot food bath. We would like the physician to take care of that the best that they are doing and not try to make a bigger problem out of a smaller one whilst we are trying to help. Then if there is impaired sensation, that is, if this person cannot tell you it's too hot, it's too cold, can you make it a little hotter? The person does not feel temperature. There are many individuals or some disease processes that may be going on in the body that can cause this to happen. For one to have impaired sensation, the inability to really feel hot and to feel cold, then we do not put this person's feet in hot water. The person will burn. You may feel as it will be demonstrated how to test the water temperature with the elbow, but who is testing with the elbow has good sensation. And for this person, it may be so hot. And because of the impaired sensation, there are problems in that area of the body. Therefore, this person's feet will not be put inside hot water. Hot food bath is not for such individual or any other condition that is making it difficult for proper circulation to happen in the periphery, in the fingers, in the hands, or the foot 
we do not use hot food bath for this purpose. The things that we need are not things that we cannot get easily, as I have mentioned. A tub that the feet can go in, the two at the same time. We don't want to put only the one that is having problems if in case we want to use it for things like muzzle problems and we want to encourage blood flow to that one leg, we'll still put the two inside the top. We will need thermometer, but if we don't have thermometer, we'll also see in the demonstration how we can actually feel the temperature of the water without a water thermometer. Yes, we'll need some bed sheets or just wrappers that we use, like ladies use or men also have those wrappers. They are good enough to use for wrapping the person. We'll need some towels. They are referred to some in some cultures as Turkish towels, the towels that we use to wipe our bodies when we take our bath or shower. We will need to protect the bed with a plastic or a rubber sheet so that if we are given the treatment to a person lying on the bed, especially if maybe for children, and we should watch the age of the child that we are given the treatment to, it must be a child that we can interact with. What's going on? Are you okay? Can you tell me if it is too hot? Can you tell me if it is getting colder? And so forth. It should be a child that we can interact with. So it's not for an infant that cannot tell us what is going on. Yes, we'll need some hot water. We'll need something to make hot water, to boil water. We'll need something to carry the water to the place where we are having the treatment. And we, the person doing the treatment, must also learn to have good postures, to bend down properly, to get up properly, so that we will not try to help somebody and then we hurt our own back by not bending down properly, by not making sure that our spine are straight as we bend down and making sure that the floor is not slippery so that nobody falls off whilst we are trying to treat. All these little little things are things that we need to take into consideration. And as we view the step by step demonstrations, then we will see how well and how simple that's the, the key of the whole thing, how simple it is. Because if we just talk about it, then we will not fulfill the promise that we made that in this program, we will indeed show practically what we are talking about. So happy viewing. May the Lord continue to bless and direct and help in every way we ask in his worthy name. Amen. When God made man, God made him ruddy. And David is described in the Bible as being ruddy, full of health, full of life, looking red, looking alive. The life of the flesh is in the blood. These are certain principles that we must keep in mind when it comes to water therapy. Today, we shall be presenting to you the hot food bath. What is the hot food bath? The hot food bath is when I take the feet of my brother here and put them in a bucket of hot water, bearable temperature, very important, and then to ensure that there is proper circulation in the body. What are areas or conditions in which we use this particular treatment? We use this for the purpose of relieving congestive headache because by the time I put the feet in hot water, what that does is that it derives, this is called a derivative effect, it reduces the amount of blood flow to this area which causes headache in such a condition and then brings it down and properly circulates the blood in right proportion. You then have also, it could be used to relieve nosebleed and as a warm-up treatment for other treatments like the wet sheet wrap, which we shall show at a later time. Now, it's also used in case the person has abdominal issues. It's a very simple, effective treatment and could be used or uh, as a preceding treatment before going to bed for relaxation and for comfort. So what are some of the things you shall be needing? You have here a bucket. A bucket wherein the feet can be properly dipped in so that there is ease of movement. And I have a bucket of room temperature water to dilute the water when I pour in the hot water here. And I have a gas cooker, something to basically just boil the water for me so I can pour it in and then from time to time gain access to this. I also have a bed sheet here. You could also use a blanket that properly goes around the entire body. In cases where 
you use a blanket, ensure that you wrap the neck with a towel. That's important because some of us react to the blanket. And I also have some towels here for cold compress. It shall be applied to the head to ensure that the head is not heated. We, we don't want that at all. So from time to time, every few minutes, you would see me apply to his head this cold compress. And I have some ice cold water and also another towel for cleaning the feet or wiping it dry when I am done. So to begin every treatment, we always encourage that you begin with prayer. So now I shall pray and ask the Lord for his blessings as we apply this treatment. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you for this opportunity to present these simple home remedies that we can apply at home. We pray that you may guide our minds and grant to us understanding and grant to me full of thoughts, dexterity of my hands, that my brother here may be blessed by this simple home remedy. Thank you, Father, for answering our prayers and for granting us your spirit and the presence of your holy angels. For we've prayed and asked in Christ's name. Amen. So now I shall be applying the hot water into the bucket. Now, I have this here. I'm going to reduce this a little bit. And then I have my hot water. I'm going to apply this here. So you ensure, I shall show to you later on how to ensure that this is not too hot. In cases where you do not have a thermometer, you use your elbow to test, which I shall show to you in a minute. So I have here my hot water. And then I'm going to just quickly refill this so I can put it back on fire in case where I need more hot water. So you want to put a towel on the ground so that the area you are using is not wet by the time you are applying this treatment. All right, so now I'm going to dilute this because I can't put his feet in here just like that. So now I'm going to, in cases where you do not have a thermometer, as Elia said, you use your elbow to test. So I'm going to show to you how to do that. So you dip in your elbow into the water to, 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 to check the temperature so that you do not burn the person. Now, there are also, okay, this is bearable. There are cases where you do not use this treatment. And there are in cases where a person has impaired sensation or for people who have vascular diseases or diabetic condition because they are not able to feel in their extremities. So those are cases where you do not use this. And so now I shall be dipping his feet into the hot water. How do I do this? Please watch closely. I shall place my hands under his feet so that there is a gradual feeling of the water and I do not just dip him in like that. So now I take his feet As I do this, it makes me think of the Last Supper. As Christ washed the feet of the disciples. So you ask the person, is it too hot? So it's too hot now. You can place the feet here. Then I take more cold water. Then I test again. Okay, this is good. You take the feet, and then you deepen. So it makes me think of the Last Supper, as Christ washed the feet of the disciples. You see, all of these things have spiritual impacts or spiritual lessons for us to keep in mind. So as you do these things, think of the Bible. Think of the goodness of God. You want your thoughts on heavenly things. So now, 
I want a warming effect. I want to encourage blood flow around his body. So I have him relax very well. And then I take my bed sheet and wrap him around because I want a warming effect. So I'm going to get my cloth. So you could use a blanket as Elia said. The principle really is to keep the warmth of the water in. So we want warmth. And I said before that when there is warmth, there is an increase of blood flow. When there is warmth, there is an increase of blood flow. So let me do this this way. When there is warmth, there is an increase of blood flow. And there is also an increase of white blood cells. The Lord shall fight for you. The white blood cells are for fighting. They fight against infection. The Lord shall fight for you, and thou shalt hold thy peace, was the word spoken by Moses to the children of Israel in Exodus chapter 14, verse 14. So we want more blood flow around my brother's body. It's very important to keep a prayerful mind as you do this. This is so important. We want the presence of the holy angels and also God's blessing in this. So as time goes on, what begins to happen is that he will begin to sweat. And I do not want heat in his head, so I'm going to use what is called a cold compress. And this is simply dipping a towel or a washcloth in ice cold water and then applying it to the head to ensure that the area is cool and not hot. Very important. So I'm going to do that quickly now. I have my towel here, then I dip it in ice cold water. Properly wring out the water so that it's not dripping. And then you simply just apply this this way. Or you could mop it around, keep mopping, keep mopping around the temple area, the forehead, or you simply just put it here this way. So as time goes on, I can then remove his feet to add more water. It's good to interact with the person for whom you are doing this so that you know how he's feeling. Is the water too warm or is it, it's, is it too warm already? And then I remove his feet and put in more hot water. This is very important. And I shall show to you how this is done. So just what, some things to keep in mind as you engage in this treatment also, that what we are doing here is to create what is called a derivative effect. This could be in the case where there is congestive headache, as Elia said, and you also have maybe there's congestion in the chest or in the abdominal area, or maybe there are even pelvic issues. There could be this, this is a very good treatment in cases of uh, prostate issues or discomfort in that area for women, for example. This could be used to help ease pain around that area. So now I shall show to you how to remove the feet from the water and then apply more hot water into the bucket. This is a very essential uh, procedure or process to keep in mind. So now I have here, I remove the cloth, and then I take out his feet, and then place on the bucket, or it could be dropped on the ground. Remember that you have to keep your towel down. And then I take my hot water, just want to reduce this a little bit, and then I apply more hot water. Now, when you are putting in this water, it's important that you are not so close to him because you don't want to burn him. So I apply more hot water. And what I have done here is to ensure that the water comes past the ankle area. So um, that's important to keep in mind. So I shall be testing again with my elbow to see how hot this is. And then I shall test again. So keep a prayerful mind continually. And then you take the feet. Let me go this way to properly do this. How is it? It's variable. All right. Thank you. Thank God. Put in the feet. I can think in my mind, as the disciples, were, their feet were being washed by Jesus Christ, they must have wondered, wow, our master is serving us. 
Keep your mind on heavenly things and the presence of God be encouraged. So we are continually seeking a warming effect. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to dip this in ice cold water again. And then apply to his head. We're continually seeking that the Lord will be present with us, that this treatment may have the desired effect. This is very good to do before you go to bed. It helps one to relax properly. And right after this, the person is required to rest for about 30 minutes to one hour so that you do not bring the body to an excited state. So now I'm going to show to you how to end the treatment. So you remove the feet, and then you apply cold water around the feet. Because a lot of blood flow has been here, so you want to reduce the tension. And then I have my cloth, and then to wipe this, take my can drop your feet here. And I take my towel and I wipe the feet properly. I want it properly dry. So right after this, the person goes to rest. I said earlier on that this could be applied just before going to bed. It's a very relaxing treatment. And this could also be done as a warm-up for other treatments like the wet sheet wrap, which shall be shown at a later time. So beloved, we pray above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. May God be with us as we continue to apply this treatment. So now I shall remove the sheet and then... So let us pray. Our dear Father, we thank you so much for this procedure. We pray that you guide each mind as we would seek to apply these simple remedies. Thank you, dear Father, for blessing for we've prayed in Christ's name. In cases where you have a question, please send in your questions. We shall be ever ready to answer them. May God be with you. Blessings.